perhaps you've seen it. Maybe in a dream. A murky. But 60 parts deep in this playthrough, and I get the feeling that we're not even close to the end. How many games can you say that about? This is truly an epic title. They look like the helmets of the, the midges. You notice that? This must be a boss fog. Let's have a see what it is. Ooh, it is the midget! Why the hell's he here? Why would he be here? And I've killed him, so... I've missed out on whatever that is, and I'll not do that in the future. What the hell? There's another Belfry! Jesus Christ, this one's huge. This actually makes sense now. I was kind of wondering why the hell anybody would join this covenant when the Belfry's so small. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to test the fire resilience because this is kind of obnoxious. She tried to break my guard. I pressed attack then. It's kind of sad. Don't kill me. Oh, hey well. Casting speed gets me every time. On a more positive note, I can kill these things with pyromancy very quickly and then I can take them on one and one, hopefully. So that's not a boss, which means that the other boss fog is probably a, a boss fog. <laughs> Anybody wondering too, my arm is plus 10, so that's the damage that this stuff is doing. And sure, I don't have full life and my HP is not upgraded, but it's still a lot of damage. So anybody curious as to what this difficulty is like, that should probably be a good bearing for you. This guy's got elements on his weapon. See that? And he just threw a bomb. That's another thing I really don't like about this game. They've somehow turned the fire bombs into these huge circles that look really dumb. And the detection on them is not great. And you see that? My whip is almost done. The whips just don't last. That's horrible. Where's the... Where's the stick on? So, I got his attention. Can I backstab you? No. It's a waste of time. One hand in. I'm happy that this place exists because that covenant sounded a bit silly to me. Because those there's two there's there's two floors and then there's a roof and the roof is the only place that even looks worth fighting on. He looks great. Who's that dude? Look at his sword. He's using the great sword. Can I cheese this? Do you think? It'll probably hit the wall, but let's just try. No, it hit him. He's probably not best pleased. He's coming round. <laughs> See that for aggro range? Like you can tell that's crazy aggro range because the animations on the enemies don't play correctly at, at long distance. And that guy... Oh, I'm dead! He tried to backstab me and he missed. That saved me, that. The backstab whiff just saved me. And that just nearly killed me. So thank God for iframes. What a load of shit. Die. The cool thing is it gives me another place to fight in. So. When I have to stop recording tonight, I can have a look around this area and farm these enemies to see what they drop. And if anybody's wondering... The souls that I'm getting, I'm not putting them into my levels. I'm putting them into my equipment if I can. But I don't have the shards to do it. So that's why I've been kind of frustrated these last few nights. Because I've been getting hundreds of thousands of souls. And I've got nothing to spend them on. Because I don't want to get level 200. And just be ridiculous. Unless you're meant to be level 200. And that's not a ridiculous level. But I can't see that being a thing. How did that knight get behind me? I'm really paranoid. So there's a ladder. There's an item. Simpleton Spice. We don't really use Spice, even though we are a, a bona fide pyromancer. Does that lower that roof bit, do we think? It rings a bell. It must do something in that room with the lava. 
There's more than one bell too. Ooh, double Evelyn guy. Again. Yeah, he's gonna try and get away from me when I get close because he's, uh, he's a little concerned. So this is this is cool, man. This is giving the the bell keeper something to do. So I've just been invaded by an NPC called the bell keeper. I wonder if it's another one of the midgets. Which I'm not too sure if that's an unacceptable term, but I don't really care. It's funny. You can get out with that bullshit. I like this place. This is going to be a really fun zone to fight in. Some of the areas on this game have been really well designed when it comes to, you know, just actually fighting in them. One of my main criticisms of Dark Souls is some of the areas were so, like, not fully real. I'm going to die here because of... Little shits with bows. I'm dangerous, man. What are you doing? And a third hit. There you go. So he drops a rusted coin. The ones on the other roof drop rusted coins as well. So this might be a good place to farm them to get your luck up. If that's something you're interested in. This must be the boss. And I don't have fire on my shield. And it's it's got to be a fire boss. Oh, I pushed the invader back. How big is this level? Not complaining, by the way, guys. Big, ooh, immolation. I've read about that spell. It sets you on fire, which is essentially what immolation means. It's the uh, Gandhi defense. Or maybe it was. Was it Gandhi that burned himself as a human torch? Or was it just some like, random monk in Vietnam? I have no idea. I don't think it was Gandhi. It's just me being incredibly ignorant and not really knowing too much about Gandhi, aside from all the jokes, including his flip-flops. But it was a... Uh, was it a Tibetan monk or a Vietnamese monk? It was somebody... Well, it's happened more than once, but through protest... Wow, that looks... Look at the graphics there. That looks real bad. I don't know what it is. It doesn't look good. But anyhow, um, through protest, they killed themselves. So I don't know what I did when I rang that bell. Aside from piss off a bunch of bell guardians. Who did that? Him. No. Somebody down there. They've not actually twigged down here yet. You. And I have the advantage. Come now, Anakin, I have the high ground. You don't underestimate me! I'm a terrible actor! You were supposed to be the chosen one, Anakin! But instead, you just mumbled your way through three films and ruined the trilogy. <laughs> I even put on this pathetic Alec Guinness impression for the entire series. You couldn't try just a little bit more. What happened to Padme? You killed her, Darth, in your rage. No. Yes. It was very sad. We all cried. Then that guy from the Tommy Knockers came and nicked chickens. <laughs> Which is not actually true. He was in the Tommy Knockers and he does get one of the children, but Obi-Wan steals the kids. Which further reinforces the stereotype of the creepy old man. Look at these arrows. Wesley, is that you? Killed Morgan Freeman, now you're coming for me. Well, technically, Angelina Jolie killed Morgan Freeman once again. Accuracy in statements, folks. Oh, my God, he point blanked me. And then the only thing left is them fellas, and I get the feeling <laughs> that they can literally kn knock the floor out. This place is weird. So I'm going to kill one of them like a bitch. Or I'm going to weaken one, sorry. Weaken one. 
That should be all right. And then we'll go in. <gasps> don't think I don't see you. Aha! Finally, detection. Awesome, awesome. Like everything about that, except for the fire drake thing, because I don't actually... Is this a trap? This looks like a trap. <gasps> it is a trap, and I just nearly stood on it. And I'm about to get real comfy. What you going to do, bro? What you going to do? <laughs> How do I get back? This might have been terrible. Ah, uh, Can I not touch that? Damn it. Ooh, I've just got that great bow they're using. Oh, Chris, what have you done? Do you think I can jump it, or do you think I'll just... Oh, I'm going to die. I'm going to die so hard. It's going to be like die hard. Only nothing like die hard. Oh, don't roll. Don't roll. Well, it's nice to know I'm risking my life for stuff that's not even useful anymore. Oh, oh don't roll off. Oh. I think that was successful. I'll take it. So it's funny that these guys are in Fireland and it seems like fire is, is really good against them. <gasps> oh, 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 you cheeky game. Cheeky, cheeky game. What is happening with the graphics? That's weird. So it's going to happen again over there somewhere. So I'm going to have to be super fast. I can't get that. It's a trap. Oh, no, it's the button. The button's the trap. And now I've just lost that item forever. Oh, it's floating in midair, which <laughs> makes a ton of sense, I guess. So, don't step on the button, guys. I'm just blind, apparently. This level's super mean. Look at it, it's just chilling. I wonder if that resets when you go back to a bonfire, because if not, I've um, missed out on maybe the best item in the game. Now you don't want to go through that. Well, maybe you do. Save me a ton of work. All right. Hopefully the fire detection's pretty good and I don't get- Oh! Ooh, they drop large titanite, so I've got another enemy to farm. And this has to be the boss. There's no way this is not the boss. What is the boss? This is not the boss. This level's amazing. It's long, it's cool, and it's hard. It's kind of evil. What is going on in here? Oh, God! I saw what you did there. Terrible human being. He definitely speaks volumes in a game when you're always on edge <laughs> in a new area. Well, this is fair. Yep, I can play fair too. It's called Fire Spell and it's awesome. Oh. Seems like a very strange thing, because if, if you were actually a functional human being, you'd just climb over that. <gasps> Again. Again with this nonsense. He's going to run at me. See you later. Oh, it's timed. Do you know what that does that for? To trap you against that enemy. It's a troll lever. Jesus. Oh, oh, I'm in it, I'm in it. I didn't realise I was in it. I thought I was uh, in between. Balance. 